this is the review feel free to slow this video down or pause or rewind we're going over the whole thing so remember uh, with zero and negative exponents anything to the zero power is equal to one and also you have to move your negative exponents right so if there if there is no fraction you drop them to the under a one if there is a fraction and they're on top bring them to the bottom if they're on the bottom of a fraction bring them up to the numerator so number 37 x to the negative eighth we gotta move it so we'll drop it under a one one over x to the eighth easy peasy all right there we are number 38 x has its own exponent it's x to the first power so that's fine but we just have to drop the y to the negative third underneath it so we'll have x over y to the third number 39 the a has a negative exponent so we have to move it the b stays so b over a to the fifth number 49 Ah, negative exponent, let's move it. Negative exponent, let's move it. So e to the seventh comes up to the top. d to the fourth goes to the denomi. Number 50, the three can stay. The m, it's got to go. Bring it on down. And we'll bring the n up to the numerator. N to the eighth. Remember after you move them to make the exponents positive. That's the whole reason we move them. 51, 6 stays. M, it's going. N can stay. And then P needs to move. All right, scientific notation. Remember your first number has to be between one but less than 10. So seven times 10 to the fourth, what am I doing? No, silly, I'm just rewriting it. So that's gonna be a large number because our exponent is big. That means we're moving the decimal four places to the right. So there's gonna be four zeros behind that seven. Always put in your commas. If the exponent's negative, you move it that many places to the left. Or you can remember, just there's got to be two zeros in front of it if your exponent's negative 2. 2.6 times 10 to the fifth. If you move it once, it becomes 26. And you have to move it four more times, so there'd be four more zeros behind it. 260,000. 7.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Move it four places to the left or just put four zeros in front of it. Zero point zero 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 seven one. Now we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna write it in scientific notation. So where would you have to put the decimal? We'd have to put it behind the five. Five point one, and that's a large number, so it'd have to be a positive exponent. You count how many places you could move it over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 to the seventh. 18, this is a huge number, so it's gotta have a positive exponent. 9.75 times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, times 10 to the 11th. Now 19 and 20 are very small numbers, which just means the exponent is negative so 1.2 times 10, just count how many zeros are in front of it would probably be the easiest way. Or you can see how many places do you have to move it? Seven. 5.008 times 10 to the negative. Count the places. Two, three, four, five, six. So these ones, multiply what you can. We could do 4 times 3, that's 12, times 10 to the 5th, and then make your adjustments. If you have to make 12 smaller, you have to make the exponent bigger. Same thing on 38, 5 times 7, it's 35 times 10 to the negative 2nd. We have to make the adjustment, we'll make it smaller, 3.5 
make the exponent larger. Larger than negative 2 is negative 1. Be careful with those negatives. 8 times 9, 72 times 10 to the 9th. Make it 7.2 times 10 to the 10th. Oh yeah. This is where it gets exciting. Multiply what you can. And then when you have the same base, you add the exponents. So we could do 3 times 5, 15. For the d, negative 4 plus 8 would be 4. Make any adjustments you need to. Number 2, you got negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. m to the 4th, m to the 8th, add them up, becomes m to the 12th. Number 3, we add the exponents, negative 6 plus negative 9 is negative 15, but you can't leave a negative exponent, only in scientific notation, so drop it under a 1. 8 times 4, 32, d to the 4th, d to the 7th, add them up, d to the 11th. Now all these x's, we could just add the exponents. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, plus 2 is negative 4. We need to make it positive, so 1 over x to the 4th. Now both of these 2's, just add the exponents, 3 plus 2 is 5. Or you can actually do 2 to the 5th, which is 32. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. To the back side. Chapter 8, 4 is when you have, oh, we still got some scientific notation. I'm sorry, I got carried away. Multiply what you can. We could do the 7 times the 5. Seven times five is 35, and then the tens are the same base, so you can add the exponents. Seven plus negative five is two. Make your adjustments, we'll make it 3.5. Make your exponent larger, three. 32, we have three times three is nine, and then we'll add the exponents on the 10, so that would be 10 to the 12. That's in scientific notation, so that one's good. 33, you got 9.5 times 2, which is 19. We'll add the exponents, which will be negative 9. Make 1.9, so we made it smaller. Let's make the exponent bigger. Okay, now we're doing the power to a power stuff. Remember, when you raise a power to a power, you need to multiply the exponents. 5 times 2 is 10. All right, over here we're gonna do the power to a power first, so four times two is eight. Two to the fifth times two to the eighth. This is where we would add the exponents, two to the 13th. Number six, you gotta give those powers to everything. So four to the third, x to the 12th. We gotta give this two to everything. So two to the second, x to the second, and y to the sixth. So let's see, four to the third is 64, two squared is four. Now we could go ahead and multiply the 64 times four. Let's see, 64 times four is 256. Add the exponents on the x, so that would be x to the 14th, and y to the sixth. All right, we'll do the power to a power stuff first over here. So we'll give the two to both of them, a to the eighth, b to the sixth, times a to the negative fourth. We can add the a stuff now. Negative four plus eight is four. And then we have b to the sixth. 29, it's pretty easy. Just give the three to both of them. So x to the 12th, y to the third, Number 30 is a little tougher. You got the power to a power, so d squared to the fifth would be d to the tenth, times d to the third would be d to the thirteenth. 
Now, 31, we got to give that second power to both of those things first. So we'll have 2 to the second and 10 to the fourth. We'll go ahead and bring down that 10 to the negative ninth. So 2 to the second is 4. Now at the 10s, remember, we're adding the exponents. So negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. Scientific notation, the only time you can have negative exponents. 3 to the third times 10 to the negative 18th. 3 to the third is 27. And then we'll have to adjust that to 2.7. Make the exponent larger, negative 17. Give the third power to everything over here. 4 to the third. 10 to the 18th. So 4 to the third is 64. We'll have to adjust that. We'll add the exponents on the 10. 4 plus 18 is 22. Make it 6.4 times 10 to the 23rd. Last section, division, we're subtracting the exponents. So 15 minus 9 is 6. So we'll just have C to the 6th. Now over here, if you want, you can move the negative exponents first, but let's actually multiply the exponents first, and then we'll move later. So x to the negative 12th, y will turn to positive 8, and z will turn to positive 20. Now we'll just move the x to the negative 12th to the denominator. Great. 3, we got to subtract them. So where are there more x's? Well, there's more on top. 7 minus 4 is 3. Where are there more y's? Up on top. 9 minus 7 is 2. Where are there more z's? More z's on the bottom. So 8 minus 3 would be 5. All right, we got to give this fifth power to both of them. So a to the 10th, b to the 15th, can't do anything else with that. Subtract these exponents. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then 3 to the third is just 27. Give the fourth power to both of these. We'll have a to the 12th and b to the 8th. Now on 7, you could flip this fraction, make it 3 over 2, and then go to the positive second power. And then you're just squaring each one. 3 squared over 2 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. So number 8. This is ridiculously tricky. But you know what? Let's go ahead and move negative exponents here. So we'll move the p to the negative third to the bottom. We'll move the q to the bottom. We'll move the q down there up. And then the r can stay. So if we simplify the q's, there's one more q up top if you did the 3 minus 2. So we'll have q over p to the third, r to the fifth. Now we'll take everything to the fourth power. So q to the fourth p to the 12th, and r to the 20th. When you're dividing in scientific notation, you just divide the big boy numbers, the regular ones, and then we'll subtract the exponents. And then you just make any adjustments needed. So if we did 3.54 divided by 6.15, you know, you might get long decimals, just round them somewhere. So if you did that in your calculator, you can get 0 0.576 times. Now, be careful with this. If you have negative 9 minus negative 5, when you have minus negative, it's really plus, positive. So that would give you a negative 4. We have to make that bigger, 5.76, so make the exponent smaller, negative 5. Here, if you did 9.35 divided by 3.71, let's 
see, you'll get 2.52, negative 3 minus negative 5, which is really negative 3 plus 5, would be 2. Here we got 9.5 divided by 5. That is 1.9. And then if you subtract 9 minus 12, you just get negative 3. You don't even need to adjust that. Last one, 6.4 divided by 8. will come out to 0 0.8. And then 9 minus 7 is 2. So you have to make that 8. You made it larger, so make the exponent smaller. And you don't write the 1. That's it, guys. You're ready for that test.